Hi there and welcome to the channel, this is The Real Stew and this is time lapse for The Outpost Part 4. So as you can see behind me we've got the initial concept for the environment um, and let's just jump straight into the time lapse. So here we're still in the interior uh, train station here, we've uh, blocked out the tunnel and now I'm starting to work on the actual staircase itself. So I'm trying to think how passengers and players would enter and leave this area. And using assets from the factory I've created, if you just check my art station for that. And what it does is it gives us just it just gives us a great place to start off with uh, in terms of assets. But it takes a lot of the guests and work out for like sense of scale and, and size of things. If we can just block out these initial areas with these assets, we can then just simply go straight to 3ds Max and then we'll make the changes and adjust the design you know, to suit the setting. As you can see here, we're now starting to sketch out the, the actual train itself. The train will have, of course, the train itself along with some carriages, but at the moment I'm just building the just the main train itself. It's a very basic shape there, so you can see I'm just bringing it to 3ds Max. Taking that box sort of shape, and I'm going to start making this kind of more interesting design ideas with it. Again, I'm going for very kind of straight, very kind of strong angles. It'll be, you know, it'll be kind of like a sense of sort of disconnection from the train. Very again, sort of imperialistic, kind of reminds me of like Star Wars, that sort of thing. You look at like a lot of these sort of the imperial vehicles and things like that. You know, they've got very strong shapes. Again, this is not going to be like a final piece for this or anything like that whatsoever. This is just getting the sense of shape and feel just for the actual train itself. And uh, just making sure that it sits in the actual interior for the train station itself. And just work on one half of it. And I'm pasting it over. Just throwing down some basic UV maps there. You can see it's actually quite thick wide there, so I'm trying to thin that down. So I'm thinking about, you know, obviously I'm going to have like things overhead the train and the wind flipping that. Now here I'm just building the basic material just to apply to the train. Changing the uh, natural hue, colour. Move it back and forth because I'm thinking the sort of camera shot as well, and that's going to fly through. You know, how's the train going to look in terms of the, the sort of level that it's at with the camera, that sort of thing when I'm moving it about. So I'm just taking this basic cylinder uh, shape, and I'm starting to block out a lot of the areas here. I'm thinking there's going to be like a walkway over the train station. So again, I'm using the platform pieces just to do that, just to block it out. And I'll go back and forth just to see how the composition looks. You know, does it look interesting? And I tried to get a nice contrast of sort of big shapes with small shapes as well. You know, just adjusting the walkway just to see where it works. Right here as well, actually, I'm thinking if, you know, the player, for example, was going to try and cross the train track, how would they do that? So I'm thinking of this sort of moving platform that kind of sits down like that but then connects over as a kind of track so the player can walk over and so I'm just blocking out that, that shape you know, there'll be like a kind of huge sort of mechanical motor under the platform you know that would obviously help push the platforms and bring them together in terms of design that's just what I'm thinking of just in terms of um, like functionality And I'm playing with a lot of the big ships again. I wasn't too happy with the composition overall there, but I like to jump back and forth. And here I'm just creating some uh, roofs for the actual platform areas, and then these are the sort of support posts that hold the roofs up. I'm just uh, straightening up the edges, making sure there's equal space in all of them.
Then again, I'm just throwing down the EV maps again, just something basic. Duplicate the uh, post over, and merge it. And I'll just bring it back into uh, Unreal Engine. Because I placed those assets already, it means that when I updated the assets itself, you know, I didn't have to reposition all the, the objects again. They're already in place. And that's what I love about the blocking out stage, because when you put all your assets down, you're happy where they are. If you need to make any changes, then it's literally just push a, just click and re-import button, and then that's you. So I'm thinking of like the actual roof shape as well. I want to give it just like an interesting shape. I don't want it just to be a straight rectangle or anything like that. So I'm adding like a curve to it. And adding curves and chamfers to the, the edge as well. Just align the pivot as well. Make sure it's in the, the centre of the, the scene in 3ds Max. And I'm thinking of the actual roof trim itself. Just add a bit more detail there. And then of course I'm making sure all the polygon faces are your quads or tries. Of course the Unreal Engine can't you can't take in objects that have got more than that or less. Yeah, so I'm just breaking the, the roof in half as well. They're quite big shapes. Best that they're you kind of break them down into smaller chunks. That uh, way we'll get much better lighting and shadow results when it comes to the, like the final render. And more thickness again. I don't really like seeing just very straight edges, so I tried to add more edges just to kind of curve it a bit. I think this was about an hour and 40 minutes for that scene as well. And again, that's the concept art pieces there. And we're starting to flesh out the interior more with um, bigger objects. We're starting to flesh out the train tracks as well. We're starting to get a bit more definition in there. And um, it's one of these processes, it, it takes a bit of iteration. It's trying to get the composition right. Because like I said before, um, I was wanting the train area to be quite large, but you know, I wanted to have interesting shapes in there. Thanks for checking out this video. So I've been the real Stu, and if you do like the content here, like and subscribe. And also, you can follow the project behind me live on Twitch. Just look for the real Stu. The links down below. And I'll see you in the next video.